Good morning! Um, happy Workshop Wednesday. Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. Whatever other kind of Wednesday you want to call it. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We've made it. It's Hump Day. Hump Day Wednesday, yep. Hump Day Wednesday. Uh, here we are. I was going to say humping about all over the place, but that sounds horribly wrong. That's <laughs> not what we're doing at all. I have not witnessed any of this. Um, well, apart from Maud, who's in season and humping anything. Oh, bless him. Yeah, poor Eric doesn't know which way is up. Bless him. Uh, that's the dogs for anyone that's wondering what sort of a place <laughs> we run here. <laughs> I forget, I just think everybody knows. Um, I've become one of those people that talks about lots of other people assuming everybody knows, and I mustn't. I'm very sorry, everybody. Just... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, my, uh, my dog is in season. It's just so that everybody knows. Uh, we've all known, goodness me, her behaviour is disgraceful. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the videos. Let's get us up there. How are you all? Uh, oh, we've got, we've got some comments, Jane. Oh. Rona says, good morning, lovely ladies. Love this quilt. This is Stitchy Witchy Wednesday quilt. It is beautiful. Have you called it ripples? Yes. Yes, good. It's beautiful. I just think it, well, it reminded me of ripples. Well, I love it. There it is. Stunning. Uh, Debbie, good morning. Elizabeth, good morning. I don't know if I'm in the right place to find all these things. Here we go. Oh, if I turn the volume down. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Good morning to Joe. Raining here. Oh, it's Wales. Oh. So it's going to oh, rain. Oh, it's going to come it? over this way then, isn't it? Eventually. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll dump it over Wales and then be clear. But sorry, <laughs> Wales. But you know. Well, we need it to fill the reservoir so we have water. Because doesn't our rain, our water come from the Welsh reservoirs? Hang on, hang on, hang on, Jane. We we we've only just dried out. Yes. We don't want any more rain. No more rain. Uh, right, good morning, Claire. How's myself? You're on the telly. Heavenly. How did your fitting go? Uh, good morning, Jan. Good morning, Alison. Lovely quilt today. Yes, it is. Karen, did you have a nice birthday? That's what I would like to know. Um, she says, morning, everyone. Hope uh, everyone at Makes HQ are well. Yes, we are. Good morning, Natasha and team. Says Heather. Good morning, John Smith. Good morning, good morning, Leanne. Good morning, Rebecca. Morning, ladies. Thank you for sorting out my buckles and straps order. I like things to be matchy matchy too. We, I, I think this is one of our strengths, and it might slow down how quickly orders go out. But if we see someone, and I, Rebecca, I hope you don't mind using you as an example, but if we see someone that has bought a buckle and straps, and actually we know that one of the other colours will work better, we will ask you because it's none of our business really no but it kind of is because we want you to be happy so never be offended if we go are you sure you wanted that yeah. <laughs> because we we've looked in a rude way we, <laughs> we're making some big assumptions <laughs> thinking they're going together uh, and if they're not that's absolutely fine you buy what you want but we'll always just check morning margaret um wonderful stitchy witchy wednesday yes it is good morning jackie good morning alison bit uh, a wee bit uh rainy here in homewood Ho it's been lovely until today. Ah, good morning, Clet. Uh, good morning, Marilyn. Sunny in Newport. There we go. Uh, morning, Carol. Morning, Grace. Morning, Sue. Morning, Susan. Morning, Pam. Um, oh, watching today from the treadmill. Oh, Pam, you are good. That's a good way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah. Because it distracts you from what you're doing. So. You... Do you think that we could do this show from a treadmill? Yeah, why not? I mean, you know. It might work for us. I'll just do this we for need a bit. Something. <laughs> and, uh, see how many steps I can get in whilst we do the show. It Let's might give much. people motion sickness watching yeah, as well. Yeah, just <laughs> not going to. Uh, it does make me laugh when people power walk because you don't ever walk like that. No. Like, why can't you just walk a bit faster? But no, the whole the whole thing has yeah, to come yeah. in. Yeah. <sighs> Looks like you're salsering everywhere, but in a straight line. Uh, good morning, Joanna. Very dull and grey in Lancashire. Well, we don't want that. Oh, good. Karen had a fabulous day. Champagne, chocolates, no cooking. I mean, that's the sort of birthday you want, isn't it? It's just cake missing from that. Um, oh, fitting. I couldn't find my tape measure. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I used a zipper tape on the roll and a builder's tape measure on the table. I, I think that gives the, 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 the professional look. Yeah. The never gives up look. Yeah. yeah. Back from sailing, says Penny. Cows in Yarmouth. Oh, wow. How lovely. Fabulous. 
Um, well, I hope you give Emma, who used to work with us, she's she's moved that neck of the woods. Yeah, give her That's a where wave she's ended she up. Give past. her a little wave. Oh, morning, Adam. This is a uh, craft store, Adam. Oh, hi, Adam. Morning. He says, morning, chick. Good morning to you. Um, I often pop up on his early morning ones, you see, when he's having a little wander around. Yeah. Um, nice to have you with us. Uh, morning, Heather. Having trouble getting him on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know why that would be. Um, morning, lovely ladies who sew, says Jacqueline. Well, I guess there wouldn't be lovely ladies who didn't say, oh, well, Adam is, I mean, he's not a lovely lady. Sorry, Adam, you're not a lovely lady. Uh, he's a lovely gentleman. He's just learning to sew. That counts, doesn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. True. Um, do you want to see Half Me to Heavens that go live at midnight tonight? Hmm? I don't know what happens to my glasses in between. I can't see. They're just all... Does the young lady have a little play with them? Mummy's eyes? Yeah. We get Mummy's eyes. Yeah, great. She came, and we were in the cutting room this morning and we could hear this little voice going, Mummy, where are you? <laughs> and I said, I think she might be upstairs, Emily. And she said, Jean, is that you? <laughs> oh, she knows. She's not <laughs> daft. She's not she daft. She said, I need a cuddle, Mummy, where are you? And we were like, oh, Emily. <laughs> oh, dear cat, she's fallen off the chair. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Shouldn't laugh, shouldn't laugh, don't look. Um, is the website having a moment again, still showing yesterday's products, or at least what's left? I think Gemma's on it. Gemma's on it, it'll be sorted. Good morning, I had an ice cream for breakfast. <coughs> Why not? I'm defrosting day. the freezer while watching today. You see, <laughs> not gonna I love I defrost have freezer days where you have everything that's in the freezer in any combination. I mean, ice creams and frozen peas. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Breakfast of champions. Um, so excited to get the ribbon day. delivery. That will be on its way. So I've bought, for the first time in my life, a black jumpsuit. I've never had a jumpsuit in my life. Um, she and... looks fantastic in it, I have to say. <laughs> Well, Just normally they ankle swingers. Um, so Gemma's like, what you need is an exceedingly large ribboned velvet... Oh, yeah, we, we started pulling ribbons around you, didn't we? You and we there styled and we're in the most ribbon round <laughs> ridiculous way, which will be fabulous. And then I'll go on the school run or muck out the horses and people will think I'm slightly strange. I'm comfortable with that. Gemma um, and I went completely mad and went, oh, no, this one, no, this one, no, this one looks bad. <laughs> They are to beautiful. Which, <gasps> Natasha was draped with about five different ribbons at one point. I mean, imagine, if you will, a black jumpsuit and that. I think it I'd look like stunning. a do, I mean, they, they are just gorgeous. Right, everybody, let's have a look at these half meat heavens, shall we? So, we have got for your delectation. These are the um, HMHs Plus. And these are your normal half meter heavens. So these are a little bit more because you get a designer, designer, designer. What's it job? Should we go through those first? Pairs of designer fabrics, which are just well, lovely. Well, it just gives you a little bit of texture and a little bit of something different in your stash. Let's start. I've only got three of these because this is all that we had left. Moda Zarafa from Christopher Wilson Tate. Beautiful. Right? Just works so beautifully with, wait for it, Liberty. Yeah. Liberty Fabrics, Liberty and Moda, and they will be 11 99 want to see? Oh, come on, switchity, switchity, switchity. Yeah. I heart that VV much. It's a bit of fun, that, isn't it? It's just, it's absolutely, absolutely lovely. And do you know what else we've got in there? We've got a gorgeous linen which is linen effect, I should say. Again, with more, more moda. But you see, and we've noticed a lot of you doing this, which is why we've done this. Uh, let's just switch that across. Because a lot of you, when we have things like this, buy all four. Buy all four? Well, you know what I mean. That iron's not on, is it? That's why no, I was not um, Because then that's that's your quilt, isn't it? It's two meters, so you've got a gorgeous Liberty quilt there yeah, for, tw for under twenty-five yeah. quid. Amazing. Amazing. Twenty-three Liberty. ninety-eight. 
So if you've got a little boy, in fact, Freddie has, um, I made all of Freddie's storage boxes out of this fabric. That's why I've got extra. Yes. Because I've, I've used this. He just loves it. He loves the fabric. So that it has decorated it. But I've got like three of those left and whatnot. Um, now, I've already got one of these. This is Alice. But we had one of the North Cut that was in the block of the month. We had one of those left and it's just a slightly lighter shade and it worked very, very beautifully. But like I say, one, that's what these are for. Is for, you know, getting, not not getting rid, but just clearing well, down. Well, it's those last bits, isn't it? There's quite often mm. there's just one half metre left at the end of a bolt and it just hangs around for a while. So it we does. think, let's put it with something else. Oh, hang on, upside down. Mortimer, you look like you're, you're looking for trouble this morning. When well, he's Leave. looking for Malcolm, isn't he? And usually that does mean trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, that that's beautiful yeah this is a natalie lette for anna maria horner oh so you've got all these little critters you've got deer and um owls and stags and all sorts of stuff going on whilst you've got these strong florals coming through we've put it with and again we've only got a handful of these uh this is uh mode grunge denim and it just because there's sort of greys in there and blues and, and it's also, it just, well, we liked it. But we've got three of those as well. Yeah. Woodland Walk. That's what that one is called. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Uh, now, we've got one of these and this is your Tilda Spots. But look, 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 look with it with the um, Northcott. It's super gorgeous. One of those. We've got five, oh, five of the teal and again that's from your block of the month wasn't it yeah, left over from over, that yeah. and this is one of your stripes from tilda so again put it into your tilda stash these are the unsung heroes and they make great trousers for your bears ask me how good I to know. know um we did you see it's just like ones or twos and threes and fours and then this you see this one with the zebra I heart this so much, this fabric, because it's not, it's not in your face. It's very subtle, and actually from a distance you wouldn't necessarily know there were zebras in there. No, I really, really like and it, and then you put that make, texture with, that, with it. A lovely bag that would make. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it? Really I'd nice. do, you know what I would do? I would do the origami bag. Oh yes, that would look lovely with that. It? Yeah. Just subtle and discreet. And then with what I had left over, I would do um, a little little pouch to go with it. Yes. Good I've good. only got one of these as well. This is Beehive, oh Beehive, on pink with Moda Grunge Mango. Look at that. It's only because I only had one mango left. Because, 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 Jane, it's the tips of those flowers. Yeah, really it's pulls it out. Absolutely the tips of those flowers. But like I say, one. One, I tell you, one. However, we've also only got one of the bee floral on duck egg with the Moda blush. I mean, yes, yes, yes. Pretty. And again, only one of, oh, look at that, from the block of the month as well. Yeah, that, lovely that was the last yeah. one of those. So I was like, well, that needs to go with that. Uh, we've got a few more of these because this is the fabric from the fabric range, the Adita Sitar fabric range that Jane is working from today. So, and then this is called Mystic Vine. Ooh, I'm just going to hold this up for you because if you are buying any of the kits today and you want some extra fabric to maybe mix things up a bit or maybe do some extra cushions to go with said quilt or, yeah, or just to have in your way. stash to yeah. use with whatever is left over, We've popped those together so you've got that floral element working all the way through. That's pretty. Yeah, it is lovely. Really pretty. Love that. And then we have got Blue Bayou. This is by Studio E. And again, with your Toscana, look at that. I really like that. Now, we've done something, we've done something with this. Um, well, not with this. I mean, we've cut this. So that's what we've done with this. Yeah. But somewhere... Where's the other one? We did. Where's the other one gone? It's in with the planes. Yeah, but it wasn't in with the plane. It wasn't with the plane. No. 
hexagon? Yeah, the hexagon one. Where's the hexagon one gone? I was going to see if I can find it. I might hear. With, uh, just mute yourself. And remember to m come back to on. To unmute it's on the myself. top, yeah. Thank you. We've got a hexy version of this with a darker blue. And again, I did it so that if you're wanting a quilt, you've got, you've got that. In the meantime, I have got four. Right, you've got to see this pulled out like that. Because what we discovered, and I would never normally put green and cream Back, together. Did you miss oh, me? Oh, well done. We did miss you, yeah. Um, but this is exactly that. And then pulls through the blues. It's just perfect. It's Again, it's a mode of grunge. Uh, I want to say, what do I want to say? It begins with a poplin. That's it. Uh, and just works. Right, as we were. So, you know, I was saying, I'm thinking of quilts for you. Ba, 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 ba. That is so nice. Isn't it? If you it's love your blues, so just perfect. I mean, you could always whack a white in there or whatever you need to do. But again, we're limited because that's the last of that. Oh, now. These koi. These are a bit special. I found the rainbow bubbles. Seven different shades of orange and yellow in there to go with your beautiful carp that have gold on them. That's a lovely, I love that carp fabric. And then that bumbleberries, it's like it was made it's for It's like it. the bubbles, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the, the bubbles that you get with fish. And then, and then, I can't remember. I never know. Was this a heron or a stork? stork. No, there's one that cranes. Cranes. It's none. Of, none of the above. None of the above. It's cranes. But we've picked out the golden yellow of his feet and his beak and put some stars with it. I love that. I love that. I'm just. That I want to see this. Such fun cushion or. Or, you know, one of the pillows for the children with their book in, one of the book pillows. Yeah, one of those, or even just a makeup bag. Yeah. And you open it up and you've got or that on the inside. Yeah, bursting in. Yeah. Or a little bit of a trim around the. It's just fun. And it just picks out that beautiful gold and it just. Mind you, do you know what, actually? That works quite well with that as well. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Well, they're from the same range. Yeah, that's a bit nice. Isn't it's it? a bit nice, isn't it, Jane? It's almost like we think about these things for you. I feel because I didn't know how to develop the half meter heavens for you to be, you know, even better. Yes. And I think we've done it. I think we've done it by bringing you options that you can then put together to quilt. Um, so this is a Lisa Chandler with purple. Uh, yeah, you can thank me later. It's fine. <laughs> it's just so lovely. So Lisa and I were having a conversation about the ribbons. Oh yeah. And and it just dawned on me, wouldn't her fabrics? Oh my wouldn't gosh, the Melbourne look it? amazing? Wouldn't it just? I'm going to email her dear later and say, um, I think you've missed a trick here, love. Yeah. Do you think it's your mind? I don't think so. I might not call her love. Mm. She might mind that. Yeah. How does that translate Mon into petit, French? Mon petit, maybe. Mon petit. Wow. Well, Mon petit that? ami. I don't know. My French is pretty dreadful, so I might hit Google Translate and then goodness knows what will happen. Um, I'm just loving this with cream, just putting it out. Oh, yeah. So that was the thing. So you could get that one and then the one with the moda. Yes. And then you've got all sorts of gorgeousness going on. Uh, and then, oh, this is from the same range that I love Jane. That yeah, I know that Jane is working with today. So hold that thought caller. Because, because, I'm just saying there is a lighter. Yeah. We've also done it with cream for you as well. Because again, and again, you might want to bring that in with that. It's entirely up to you. Also from this collection... Adita Sitar, she learned to, do you know why she learned to quilt? Her no. mother-in-law. Yeah. Mother-in-law taught her. That's nice. It's a useful mother-in-law, that is, isn't it? Um, and then we have got, for the green, now again, you might want to match that through with that. And the reason that I I didn't put this with the, the, with the crimson is because this went with the crimson that goes with that and goes with that and goes with, I mean, you might want to do that, that and that. It's entirely up to you. But like I say, or 
Oh, you see the blush works so beautifully with that as well and goes with that. So, oh, Jane, 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 the fun we've had. The, the fun we've had. you've got. <laughs> So that's what we've spent the morning doing. Do you think this goes with that? Do you think that goes with Yes. What about this? Ooh. We sometimes go, oh, try it with that, and then we put it with it, and we're like, and go, oh, no. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you can't do that at home, can you? No. This is, this is, this is Tula Pink. Oh, I found that blue. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, right. Because this has got all the colours, so you can basically put any colour you want with it. But I just found that blue and went, we don't like have many it. blues on the show today, do we? No. Um, I've gone a little bit Tula mad this morning. Why not? Do you want to see this one? So this is your cat. Oh, that's and look, nice with that. I found, I found, um, it is, is the apple. But you see, if you had to look on a screen and try and match that, you wouldn't necessarily manage it, would you? Do you know what else I've done? So then I've put a few with teal because there is that darker color in there oh that's nice like i mean it. you know yeah just saying just works beautifully just saying and i've done the same did i did i not there's another one with this with another colorway this is with gold as well somewhere, but again, that's in the studio somewhere. So because we did that last, I don't know if we just had a few more that we could top up from the gold that it went with the last time. Yeah. But then also we put it with lime and it looks rather spectacular. It just pulls out the green from his hat. So again, you could grab both. Oh, now, 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 you know, we had the heron, crane, whatever it's called. with your stars same collection that would be a bit stunning wouldn't it i mean it's not wrong is it because you've got all of these colors in here and this has got that's got deep that blah. so whilst he's with that this is with teal i love that it picks out those darker colors that was one of the ones that we were trying different things with and we tried it with orange didn't we and but you and see he's gonna gold. work nicely with that but putting the teal with it popped all those lovely flowers it did out. it did but you see look you do have those yellowy tones and these darker colors in there as well if you want to play with that and it pulls out the gold so if you wanted to get you know again from that collection get both we are not here to judge merely to serve that's right is that right jane we just offer we do offer some people might call it enabling, but we won't go into that. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Do you know what else is good? That. That is also. That is beautiful. Wow. And again, uh, we all thought that green. Yeah, we did. And we put it with it and it just flattened it We completely. just wanted to warm those butterflies up. Actual size butterflies. We need to go to Australia to see those actual size butterflies. Amazing. And then I've got three because that was all that was left on that bolt. Of your Lisa Chandler small floral. Is that with a bit of paprika? Bit of paprika, yeah, I do like a bit of paprika. I love that colour work. There we go. Uh, I mean, if you're savvy and you're going to make the bag from yesterday, I'd be grabbing that. Another half metre of paprika and then a half metre of, you know, yeah. something stunning. Uh, right, that's my, oh no, that's my sewing machine. That's me. Ooh, that's me done. I've peaked. Oh, I can relax now. Uh, I almost have nowhere to put the fabric. Can I put that on there? Yeah. Is that mind. all right? Do you mind? Not at all. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't want to block, would your mind block your beautiful, beautiful quilt. Beautiful fabrics lined up underneath. All right, peeps. I'm going to go and sit over there, see if I can uh, lure a kitten on my lap and um, hand over to Jane and uh, have a little look at your comments. See what you've been up to while we've been busy. Hey, yeah. Was there a kitten on here? There Who was. Knows? And then he went. I was watching him when he came down. There's a pool oh. of sunshine in front of the camera there. Oh, there's a Mortimer on that one. It's changed from a ginger cat to a. Well, that's a bit magic, tabby. isn't it? 
Tabby, 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 tabby. How are you, Jane? Tell everybody how you are. Today. I'm really well, thank you. Excellent. Yes, I'm having a lovely day. We've had a beautiful morning this morning playing with fabrics. It's been really good fun. I love Wednesdays, actually, because we get to... Natasha hasn't been super powered up and done all the half meter heavens before I get here. We get a fun to play with them because sometimes I get here and she says, they're all done. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? It's all what sorted. What happened here? Right, so we've got three colourways today of the Ripple Quilt, all of the same collection, all in a similar style. Now, we've got a green colourway and we're just waiting for the fabric to arrive. It's due today. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you what I've cut already and then explain what the other two colours are that will be in the kit. So you've got the one that I've made in the beautiful pinks. This is the border print and the um, focal square in the middle. And I did fussy cut to a, to a degree those um, flowers in the middle just because I wanted to make sure I got a nice big bloom in the middle. So you've got um, a three quarter metre piece of this one, which is just beautiful. Look at those colours in there. Hang on, they can if I do that. Really it's so pretty. That. I love Adita Sitar. She just brings together um, a romantic colour palette, doesn't she? She does, and she's got a lovely eye for colour. There's, li I mean, this is why we've got that little bit of yellow in there because there's this yellow in the flowers here. Hang on, hang on, I'm catching up. Pointing there here, pointing are. there. So, with that in mind, this is the colour palette that we went for the ripples, if you like, the um, the flying geese units actually that make that effect. So there's a, a little piece of this. This is part. It's called the seamstress. This collection, which it I is. thought was lovely. Yeah, very very apt for you. And this one is called. This actual print is called dahlias, I think. Yeah, dahlias. And then this little spotty here is called bobbins. Bobbins. Bobbin buttons. Bobbins. Bobbins. And then bobbins. we've got some of the beautiful linen. Um, texture in the shades to go with it so we've got the deep I would say that that was a deep sort of pink color a lot of corally pink really and then the lighter shade and then this lovely yellow or mustard or whatever color you'd like to call it but it, it mirrors this color yellow that's within the border mm. print so those and then we've used our seeded cotton for the background fabric the creamy color Again, because it's got that little bit more texture to it, like a little bit like calico, but nicer, you know, better than calico. If that's that's that sounds wrong to calico, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so those are the those are the fabrics for the kit that I have made. So that's the pink one, which is the the, the completed quilt behind us. They're the colours in there. And then I'm going to demonstrate today in the teal colourway which is basically the same fabric <coughs> same but different same but different so we've got that's the pink colourway and this is the teal colourway and again it's the same fabric in the border and the centre flowers but just on this lovely teal background which has got this linen texture to it and again it's got it's exactly the same colours but because it's got the teal behind it it looks different yes it's amazing isn't it it's the same colors but different and so we've got the dark teal there which we're going to use for the dark and the binding and then these um and i picked out the pink i went with, I went with the lighter pink in there where i put the yellow in that one i thought the pink would just pop it i heart it very very much well and your mother's dragged herself in from the sunshine oh to come and watch of, you she does, love, she does love the sun and then you better make it a good show you better make it a good one but and no then pressure. we've chosen some of that lovely um i don't know what this one's called actually this is called linen and lace pattern and you might have spotted that that was in the half to heaven bundles but this is a different colorway and that's the one i've used instead of the um bobbin spotty one so that's my thinking on that colourway. <laughs> the bobbin spotty one. Yes. Yeah, we all know which one I was calling it spotty, but actually on the salvage it's called bobbin. So that's what it is. I just think this is this is summer in a fabric, isn't it? It's it is, and it's really I don't know what it is, it just it's just very fresh. Now the green colourway. It's exactly the same 
pattern again, same colours and everything, but it's on this lovely green linen effect background. And we've got, again, we've got the seeded cotton for the background. Nice. Because it gives you that texture, which is similar to the linen effect. And then I thought the red yes. would be nice where the yellow is. And then this is called, I think it's called something like pear tree or something. I think, I, no, I haven't got it on the salvage on here. But it's like um, oranges or something similar. So that's going to be where the spotty is. Yes. And then we've got a paler linen effect and a deeper linen effect in the green. In the green that there. will be arriving imminently. Just keep an eye out on the website because as soon as it arrives, we'll get it the picture put up and you'll see. So this is also part of the order that should have arrived for yesterday as well. Yeah. Which means that, um, do keep an eye, your Friday newsletter, which is relatively new, do keep an eye because there will be all sorts of deals and things in there for you to see you over the weekend when we're not on air. Uh, and if they sell out by Monday, they won't get a mention on Monday's show. No, because we quite often have things coming in, don't we, after we're off air on a Wednesday. Yeah. And our Friday newsletter is the best way of us letting you know what's coming. And sometimes it might have gone by Monday. Well, yeah. And and also I'm making sure that there are some nice little deals and things. Yeah. Something um, for you to look forward to for the weekend, really, isn't projects it? Projects with yeah. maybe a free pattern or, you know, just... And, and a lot of the time uh, there wouldn't be enough there for a full show. Yes. But so just it's something that... Yeah. yeah. Nice so we'll put treat. it on a good deal for you. So just watch that. And then anything else that... Like when these fabrics arrive, they will go into that Friday newsletter so that if you want to buy the Lisa Chandler version of the saddlebags, they will be in Friday's newsletter for you if you've missed the link elsewhere. That's just your heads up. Yes. So, yeah, because I think it's quite new, isn't it, the Friday newsletter? Yeah, it's only the last so, couple of weeks. Yeah, just keep an eye out for it in your mailbox because there's always a nice things in it. Right, let's make a block, shall we? The quilt itself is made up of four blocks. Um, I did a workshop with Chris and Barbara a few weeks back. It was over Zoom. And this is where the inspiration came for this block. They were talking about, you know, the basic units that we use every day, like our half square triangles and our squares and our flying geese units, and how when you put them together in a certain way, they create a different effect. So. It was more about revisiting your basic patchwork but looking at it differently and the way you put colours together can make things look different as well. So that's where that came from. So I'm very grateful to Chris and Barbara for the workshop because it gave me inspiration, which is what it's all about. Oh, Diane's received a songbook layer cake with her smarves. She says, happy days. There are a few smarves left, people. They're down to just five pounds. Just, just so that they go. Yeah. You know, you'll end up with a beautiful scarf when we don't have to wear masks. But in the meantime, so well, I think we'll be wearing masks for quite a while yet. Yeah. I know that I probably wouldn't want to go into a space with lots of people without a, ma a mask on. My sister-in-law has a big birthday coming up and she wants us to meet up in London. Yeah. So there's no way that I'd go there without some sort of face covering. Yeah. Anywhere. I think we'll probably end up being a little bit like the Eastern Asian countries where you wear one out of courtesy, really, to other people. Yeah. You know, even if you've got a little bit of a cold, you might put a mask on just to protect yeah. others. I think be nice it'll think become happen, part of you? our yeah. culture in a way. You never know. We never you know. You never know. We? We're just enjoying the sunshine at the moment and making the most of not having to go anywhere, <laughs> having no pressure to go anywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to make the four patch block because I'm going to do, if we go into a, yeah, we're on the right angle. If we go look at this corner unit here, it starts off with a four patch. So I'm going to do that first. So I've got width of strip fabrics. I've actually got half width strips because I'm only making one block, but in the pattern you use the full width of the fabric. So it's just two and a half inch wide strips and we're going to put, place the background fabric and the pattern fabric right sides together. Oh, morning Jess, she said hello ladies. Love these fabrics. Jane, you must have so much fun picking through all those bolts of fabric. Oh, I do. 
The trouble is, it gets a little bit like I want to do everything to the point of it, it's slightly overwhelming and I just think, oh no, I just, <laughs> there's too much, I can't think. And sometimes you get fabrics in and you want to do everything with it. Yeah, and to pin it down to just one thing. Yeah, I looked at the, who, who's the um, lady that did the phosphorus fabric? Oh, uh, yes, Liz, Libs Elliot. Libs Elliot. I looked at that and I thought, you know, that Lone Star pattern would look amazing in it those fabrics. Would be phenomenal. There's no two ways about that. And I think we're selling that in a, low, in a long quarter bundle, aren't we? And that's we all you were, need. Yeah. until I started need. chopping into chopping it. Chopping into it. Well, I put some of it with the, um, with the bag the kits yesterday. On. Oh, Emily had a proper telling off yesterday. <gasps> I know. <laughs> we, I Even think everyone heard we, it. We were in the cutting room. Which I have to say is quite a distance from here. And um, um, mm. Natasha shouted and we all went, ooh. Because <laughs> I don't normally shout. Natasha doesn't shout, she doesn't need to. <laughs> well, she's loud enough anyway. No, but uh. you're, not that, you're not that sort of person, are you? You're not a, no. a shouty person. Um, and no, she, I, she was watching me so. Luckily, I just moved my fingers out of the way and she stomped her foot down on that foot pedal. And because it's, this is the only downside to this machine is that it doesn't have a lock. No. The other ones have a lock and I lock the screen when she's about. Yeah. Hey, Malcolm. Malcolm so we've us. sewn them together along the length and I've pressed the seam underneath the patterned fabric or the coloured fabric. And we're going to cut them into two and a half inch units. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the one side up. Oh, if you've got your stripology ruler, because you're going to cut the whole length of fabric, you're going to need 16, I think, of each one altogether. You will find your stripology will make this job a breeze. It is right in front of you if you want it. But I'm only going to cut four, so I'll just quickly whiz the four. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm just making one block here, and and you know. One block would make a beautiful cushion front. Well, this is this is why we did the whole. Well, well I did the whole cushion, uh, make it into a bag, make it into a cushion, uh, with just with your orphan blocks. Yes. And that was a term I learnt from you. I'd never heard of orphan blocks before. I'm like, what is that all about? Um, but that that came from you, and and yeah. that was the inspiration. Well, I've got quite for a it. few orphan blocks. <laughs> we. Um, you know, well, you go to a workshop and you try something and it's always lovely to learn something new, but sometimes you'll make it once and you'll think, yeah, I like it, but I don't know that I want to make 24 of quilt. them yeah. to make yeah. a quilt. So it's quite nice. And sometimes you'll have enough to just put 12 together and make a sample, sampler style quilt. You know, different blocks that you've made. Because I don't know about anybody else, but I do find that I tend to gravitate towards the same colours when I'm making things. Yeah. I'm very much a sort of tealy, bluey type of purples person. Sea colours, I think, I think is the best yeah, way to describe it. And when I look at my stash, it is that sort of tones. There are other colours in there, but they tend to be those tones. So I've got all of these um, units now, and we're going to take two of each and we're going to put them right sides together with the background fabric on top of the pattern fabric or underneath the pattern fabric whichever way you look at it but so that we can make the four patch and because we've got the seams going in opposite directions they'll lock nicely together and give you a nice crisp part where the points join together so we'll just chain piece those together now Oh, just thinking, says Jess. Steady on, Jess. <laughs> Great craft, easy idea. Those velvet amazing ribbons for any tiny leftover amounts post sewing. Glue a small amount around a large, same empty height tin. Small weight inside. Craft tins for your workrooms. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Very tempting to buy. Um, that is a very fine idea. Yeah. In fact, just and the old just coffee jars and stuff. 
Empty baked bean tin. Wash it out, stick some ribbon around it. You've got something to hold your pens in. This appeals to my inner womble. Yeah. We all like recycling, repurpose, reuse. Where is Lo this morning talking of wombles? She's on this beautiful coast somewhere. I saw pictures well, I thought on that her. was just the weekends when she was heading oh. out to avoid silly season where they live. She's going and being somebody else's silly season. Oh, good for her. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In her beautiful moho. Yes. So I'm going to do a little twiddle on the full patch. Oh, do you want to do that on a close-up so yeah. we can see? For those who do not know. Don't know what I'm talking about, my little twiddle. Which you twiddle? Picking those couple of stitches up to that seam line there. So we don't go past it, but there might only be one or two stitches. Just up to that seam line on both sides. And then when I open it out and I press it, one seam goes up and one seam goes down and it just flattens that bit out in the middle where everything joins together. So it makes it flatter and it sits nicely in your quilt. But also when you're quilting, if you wanted to go across the diagonal, it would just make it easier to quilt through because there's less, there's less layers of fabric. So it's just a nice little thing that you do. Nobody sees it, but you know it's there. And it's quite pleasing to have that little four patch on the other side. I, yeah, no, I'm, just I'm one a of big those fan. Things. I am a big fan. Apparently, um, Elizabeth says that Lo is at the hairdressers. Oh, right. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, don't they not have Wi-Fi there? I was going to say. <laughs> Come on, Lo, can you have an appointment on a Wednesday? I know, I know. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I've just broken up the cat with my shriek. <laughs> It's like, Sorry, what? Morty. He's like, hang on, I'm in the sun. There's a beautiful pool of sunlight in front of the camera, and um, the cats gravitate. All the cats gravitate towards that. They love it. I don't mind if they go there because it's not near the fabrics we sell. Yeah. So that's fine. They're banned from anywhere else. No, they're not allowed in the cutting room. Yep, five hours. She said at the hairdressers. What the heck is she doing for five hours? Goodness me. What can you do to your hair for five hours? Well, I suppose cut, colouring it. If you have it coloured and then highlighted and then... But is that not... Cut and blow dry. That's, good. That's a good... That's three hours. Mm. Maybe she's having it done twice. Maybe. Maybe she's having lots of exciting things done. Elizabeth says that she never gets fed up of seeing the back of squares. <laughs> it's one of those weird <laughs> things, isn't it? one of those isn't things, it? isn't it? I think it is just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when you're making this now, you need to think about the direction of the f of how you want the squares to go. Okay. So I keep the pattern fabric. I'm, you want to have them all the same way. At this point, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you got them the wrong way around. But I think if you start with the right intentions, then it's going to keep you going the right way. So possibly pop your, I'm just thinking about this. Yeah, pop your square so that they're that right hand side and then place um rectangle on the top of each of these four patches and if you keep it on your board oh that's the thing isn't it, it just that's the thing and i mean do. you can have them all stacked up like this it wouldn't matter but just make sure that they're all in the same direction and um and then hopefully you won't go too wrong. They'll ripple out, and they'll um, and they'll decide that they're going to turn themselves around at the at the point of sewing. Mm -hmm. And says, does anyone know why they can make amazing sewing machines that can do amazing things, but the foot pedal always slides about? Why? It can't be that difficult, can it? And I've actually got a little thing to stop my foot pedal from sliding. You know um, that. Um, plastic that you've got for when you made your do you um, know what I was just thinking that that would do the job wouldn't it I would think so because because it's a non-slip fabric, fabric that's yeah. exactly what it's for you could just stick some of that onto the bottom of your sewing foot pedal yeah you could couldn't you it doesn't matter what you put it on does it because if it's on carpet it still manages to walk across the walk. floor no absolutely absolutely oh Susie says that take EPP if you're going to spend a long time at the hairdressers that used yes. to be my go-to when I had hospital appointments when I was pregnant. Yeah. Because they always run over, don't they? Yeah. Um, and being an older mum, how rude. Um, of course, you always have to have extra tests for everything. Yeah. 
I used to have Jane. E older mum. Older mum. It's just rude. Just because I'm not 20 anymore. I think it's just, you know, they've, they're still in the 1960s when mothers used to be in their early 20s, didn't they? Yeah. If the get. I mean, to be fair, my mum was, I want to say, 27 when she had my brother. And she'd have been considered an older mum. Yeah. yeah. So you can see, I've just sewn the rectangle on the top of each of those blocks in the same, making sure the blocks are in the same direction, those little four patches. So we've got those there like that now. So they're all going the same way. So now we're going to take the rest of the rectangles. Well, why haven't I cut enough? Who knows? Who knows? Half asleep <laughs> this morning. Oh, too, that's busy, right. too busy playing with fabric. So I'm just going to cut another two in of the rectangles that I need for the sides. Um, cheap grip mat I use under the chopping boards to stop it slipping, says Myra. There we go. <coughs> That's um, a good idea. And Susie says that she was called a geriatric mum. How rude. <gasps> How rude. That Obviously not terrible. that geriatric, hey. That's an awful thing to, to be described as, even when you are. I think it's just a horrible word, isn't it? You know you get words, don't you? And yeah. It's like <gasps> yeah, yeah. yeah, they just feel horrible. They don't feel good words. No. So I'm Nothing now good ever came from being geriatric, did it, no. apart from your bus pass for free. I'm putting one of the squares, and I've used the dark colour that I've also then used as the binding and on the outside edge of the ripple. So that then goes in that corner. So we're going to sew the short side of the... Of, well, there's only one side of the square. The square to the short side of the rectangle. So we'll just do those. Um, Elizabeth's busily looking at your uh, pretty seam ripper. Should that won't roll, will it? No, they're really good, these ones. I love that it's also um, going so beautifully with your colour choices this morning. I know, isn't just anybody who thinks that, you know, it was all colour coordinated or something, I don't know. It's not that we gravitate to these colours, it's no, just that is we it? do. We do. It's just that we do. You know, I'm just thinking about that tin idea for bathrooms and things like that. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine those ones with the koi on in your bathroom? It'd be beautiful. It'd be absolutely beautiful. Well, that's what's got to happen, isn't it? Yeah. Especially for my new bathroom. Oh, yeah, your bathroom. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> I have a very clever friend who paints furniture. Well, she doesn't... She doesn't just paint furniture, does she? She's no. artistically painting the furniture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a quirky style. Yeah. But it's slightly reminiscent of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Well, actually, Gemma says The Little Mermaid for this one because it's all yes. blues and teals. It's blues it's and ombre. teals. And it's in, so what we, yeah, so what we look out for together is slightly unusual shaped furniture. Yes. And then I ship it down to Cornwall for her. She paints it for me. We have a conflab over what's required and what colours and what, 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 what. And then it gets shipped back again. And I have original pieces of furniture that are cheaper than Ikea um, and other places. And I just want the kids to grow up in a colourful home. Which they certainly will. I just want them to just love colour because yeah. it's just so good for the soul. Well, it, it brightens you up, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, we've all been there and had magnolia everywhere. But um, I think having a, a nice neutral colour on your walls but then you can put anything with it then of can't course, you of course now i'm pressing the seam underneath the rectangle here which sort of goes slightly against the press to the dark side but there is a reason for that and because we press the rectangle up and away from the four patch just because that's easier because there's less seams to try and press over by pressing um the seam under the cream fabric and we're going to place this now on the right hand side of the, that four patch because we want this gradation of the patterns going upwards. Because I've pressed that seam that way under the cream and that seam goes that way, when we place these together we've got that nestling going on again. So it just helps make sure everything's lined up nicely. 
which is always you know a nice thing to have and it anything that helps keep your points crisp i think is oh is we nice. love us crisp crisp points, points. Oh, Malcolm was nearly brave enough. He's, he's They couldn't be more chalk and cheese, could they, these kids? No, they're so funny because Mortimer gravitates towards us, likes a bit of a, a fuss, but only for so long. And if you pick him up and try and cuddle him, he's like, yeah, OK, get off me now. <laughs> and pushes himself away from you. Um, and Malcolm is like a scaredy cat. And as soon as he sees you, he's like, <gasps> Um, and he's the one that you want to pick up and cuddle the most because he's got the most enormous paws and just looks really cuddly. He is cuddly. He's super cuddly. He's now trying to catch my microphone wire, so if I suddenly disappear, <laughs> disappear you'll it's wild. because Malcolm has had my wire. Hey, Malcolm. When I was doing my prep this morning, Morty was trying to um, uh, attack the... Um, what do you do? Iron wire, and I was like, uh, please don't do that because if you end up with an iron on your head, that's really going to hurt you. And he was like, yeah, but it's going to die. <laughs> he's a real tiger, isn't he? He's, yeah, that Bengal tiger, and yeah, he's, he's strong. Yeah, and he's, he's always strong. he's always stalking something. But do you remember? You know when you have when you have a baby and you get used to the feel of your baby and then yes. someone hands you a baby of a similar age and they just feel different, like the muscle yeah. is different. It's the same with these two, like muscle is much softer, whereas Morty is just pure muscle. It's muscle. Like never there's still, just, is it? That's there's, why. It's like... No. And um, and it's it's what it always reminds me of when someone hands you a baby that's not yours and you're like, that doesn't feel like my baby. But Malcolm waits until everyone goes home and then comes yeah, for Yeah, when it's comes quiet for and people aren't squealing over fabric. Someone's kitten in front of the mic. Kitten in front of the mic. It's oh dear. Uh oh. I think well, mine's not. okay. Mine. It's not catching on anything. It's not catching on my necklace. Oh, I'm know. crackling apparently. Is it you? Uh, was I lean? I might have been leaning forward to watch. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, just, everyone. I mean, it's very distracting. Is it still with these happening? Beautiful kittens. No, I'm going to be professional now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be professional. I was, yeah, I was just trying to play with the kitten. Um, no, 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 no. Right. Sorry, so, everyone. Back as we were. We've got the four patches now, and, we'll, and I'm still calling these four patch units, even though they're not four patch units. But it's easier to describe them as as such. So these will be the corner units and we've got four of those and of course they're all going the same way but when we turn them around slightly they gradiate out and even those just the four of those together make a rather nice pattern and the next part the ripple part is done with flying geese units nice Gemma made her first flying geese yeah she was, she so was really pleased with herself she's, she's um pattern testing the the block of the month so she's doing each block and making it we've personalized Gemma's she's not using one of the the kits because she wanted it for her lounge so we've matched the colors and it's coming out really lovely but it's pushing her skill levels I should be the first to admit that she's you know still on the beginners of the of the patchwork and quilting so she'd made her first flying geese units and she was so thrilled and I was really excited for her because she's like look it looks like a star and I was like yeah that's really lovely <laughs> <laughs> you forget that don't you when you've been when you've been saying for quite a while you forget actually but that it's feeling just, of accomplishment yeah, when you manage your first flying geese and unit. it's so lovely to know that, that somebody else is, exci is as excited about it as you feel yeah because yeah, even yeah. now, when I put things together and it, and it comes together, I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> and it's these that. little squeals and hand claps that scare Malcolm. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, Malcolm. <laughs> he's all right. He's found a sunny patch now. He's settled down. I was watching him when you were doing the half to heavens and he was just stretching out in the sunshine. And he's, he is going to be a big cat because he's so long. He's got much bigger paws than His Mal paws uh, are enormous. 
I don't know whether they look bigger because they're great big white. It's like white gloves, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got a large, this is a, a method for flying geese, which uses five squares, a large square, and then four smaller squares. I've just marked the diagonal from corner to corner on the smaller squares. And we're going to um, make a flying, flying geese unit. And this method makes four, four flying geese all in one go, which is always nice. There's no waste. No little half square triangles left over that you think, oh, I really ought to keep those because there's something I can do with them. I've got pro I've got projects coming up. Lovely. I've got projects coming up. It's all right. Val just said, have you heard of the woman in South Africa that had 10 babies on Mondays and no fertility treatment? Dear. <gasps> in one go? In one go. Now, oh you see, it depends on which part of Africa and whether or not she would have even have had scans. I mean, she might have just thought she was going to have one. Could you imagine just popping out another and another and another? She must like have been puppies. exhausted. She's going to be if she wasn't already. Well, yeah, that's true. Mind you, if she lives in an African village, they'll all, they'll all pitch in, won't they? Because that's yeah. their culture. In America, they'll send in film cameras and make a yeah. documentary out of your docu-soap. Yeah. And you'll be sponsored by a nappy company <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. let's just let's just hope she gets some help so i've placed the two squares um on top of the larger square right sides together with the line going diagonally from corner to corner it's going to overlap in the middle that's what it's meant to do that's your seam allowance so don't panic and think oh no i've cut my squares too big you need them to overlap if they don't overlap that's when you need to worry because you'll have no seam allowance and you'll lose the point of your flying geese. Yeah, Joanna said that she saw a picture of her on Facebook and she was huge. You'd have to be. At least she wasn't one of those mums that goes, and then I went to the loo and had a baby and I didn't know. Can't imagine. Can't imagine. I can imagine that in the last trimester of her pregnancy, she was absolutely exhausted. She must have you know, carrying 10 babies around. That's ridiculous. She didn't know. Maybe um, she didn't know. We have, Stephen has friends um, that uh, had triplets. <gasps> yeah. That's bad enough. <laughs> and, and she just used to, in the last trimester, she just used to kneel on the floor and sleep with her head on the sofa with, <laughs> because that was the only way that she could get comfortable. I remember when I started in labour, that was the only place I could yeah. get comfortable was by like, kneeling down with my arms on the on mm. the chair and they went on and had another child after that and everyone <laughs> said are you crazy why have you had another one and they said because we don't actually remember the first three years we were so <laughs> tired we don't actually remember the first three years and they're not a family that we see very often and Stephen says yeah I don't think that the wife likes me very much after I put um post-it notes on the back of the toddlers and tried to race them I'm like Stephen, that's not really what you do with people. <laughs> no. This is before we had children. Yes. Boa, before we had children. <coughs> do you know, Jen, I don't think it matters how many times you demo this flying geese method. I still can't remember how you do it. No, and it's at this point that you think, because what? Look at that. How is that going to be a goose? A geese? How is a that? goose? So you cut it in half along that marked line and you press the little triangles away from the larger triangle. And at this point, you're like, well, that's a very nice patch, but how on earth will that become flying geese? Well, and also how do you, you know, are you gonna to have to do some sort of crazy, crazy y seam or y something seam. like that? No. I, I, I can now, so that would be fine. Yes. Um, Alison said, did you ever use, um, did you know you can use your creative grid corner clipper to make flying geese? Yes, yes, yes I did. In fact, yeah. I have. It's good. Somewhere it's good. along the yeah. line. So we're then putting the, the other two squares on top right sides together with that diagonal line running through the middle between the two smaller triangles and again it's too big you know it's going to overlap and that is meant to be it's your seam allowance it's very easy at this point to think oh no they're too big I've done something wrong and it's not it's it's how it's meant to be it's just how it is Jane it's just how it is so we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of that line now as well. And again, you can chain piece these. What I quite often say is make one block, doing it step by step, and then when you see how it goes together, you can do the next three blocks. You can just whip through those quite easily. You've got the method in your head and you can chain piece to, you know, everything really and, and get those other blocks done quite quickly.
Jess has just said that she used to work with someone who said childbirth was the most serene experience. Yeah, first one definitely not. The second one a bit better. Um, I had very quick Would we call it serene? Um, I was four hours with Isaac and only two hours with Josh. And they said to wow. me after I'd had Josh, we think, because I seem to have quite a um, high pain threshold. And I'd had all day with like backache and couldn't get comfortable, but not enough to think, oh, I must be in labor. And they said, we think you just go straight into the third stage. Yeah. Because your pain threshold is, is high enough to you with standard discomfort and, and everything. Well, I was induced with Freddie, so I had no idea what a natural contraction felt like. Oh my gosh. I spent all day sewing when I was um, having Emily. I had no idea. When my, when my mum no was idea. having my sister, apparently she had my sister at home and my dad rang the midwife and said, you know, she's in labour, can you come? And the midwife had said, well, I could hear her chatting in the background because my mum was vacuuming before the midwife came. Well, she yeah, said, so I thought I've got plenty of time. <laughs> she arrived <laughs> and the baby was like nearly there. <laughs> yeah, it was only when I did Freddie's tea in the evening. And, and I just I remember saying to my mum, so what does a contraction actually feel like? She's like, well, like the worst period pains. Sorry, everyone, a bit graphic. Um, and um, I was like, oh, Dad, could you just uh, time these then, please? <laughs> Four minutes apart. Yeah, better better get the better get Freddie uh, bathed and story and into bed. Yeah. And then uh, and off we went. So because I had my boys quite quickly, I had no pain relief at all. I tried the gas and air with Isaac, couldn't get it to oh, work properly. Awful stuff, makes you feel sick. So we just went, oh, threw it away. To which Glenn said, oh, can I have a go? <laughs> <laughs> they always want to have a go, don't they? They don't ever want to actually have a go at the birthing no. bit. They just want to have a play on the gas and air. That's it. Shocking behaviour. So there you go. You've got four flying geese units there. Perfect. All identical. So you're going to make them that way. Now... When you make flying geese units, your big square is the one that forms the larger triangle. So if you want to make them in different colour combinations, if you bear that in mind when yeah. you make cutting out and stuff. So you're then going to need um, the pale blue one. So you'll do pale blue is the large square and then the teal is the smaller squares. That one will go like that. And then you need the teal and the background. So the teal is the larger square and the background is the smaller squares. And you sew those together in rows, which we'll do now. Sew them together in pairs. So the um, pale blue. And it's just making sure, really, for this way that we want these, that you've got the, the triangles, the small triangles against the larger triangle so that you've, you know you're in the right, in the right direction. Because that's how you want them to to sit on your to They're make the gorgeous. ripple effect. Yeah. So we'll just get those sewn together. Now, if you have them when you sew them together, have them with the larger triangle on top. So you're placing them not that one, obviously, you're placing them that way. So the li larger triangle is on top of the smaller triangles. And then just flip that over so that you've got the small the large triangle on the top. And you'll see that X marks the spot. That's where your seam line wants to run against. Let me go close up on that one, Natasha. I'll just yes. show it. Yes, yes. So we're making sure that it's going the right way. So we've got the, the pale blue against the small pale blue triangles. And then I want to have, when I'm sewing it, I want to be able to see this where those seam lines there cross over so that when I sew across there, I know that I won't lose the point of my flying geese unit and again we can just um, chain piece those if you want to pin them of course you know pin them it's you work to the method that you feel happiest um, I don't use pins very often really I did when I was constructing the fly flying geese because those squares will move as you take them across the machine, so it's always best to pin those down. Yeah. But when I'm putting units together, I tend not to. 
You see, Cass, who work, Cass is messaging, she works with um, Lisa. Yeah. And she said, I had my, uh, with my biggest, I thought I had Braxton Hicks and stayed at work for the first four hours of labour. <laughs> with the middle Muppet, I was bouncing on a fit ball and praying I could finish designing Lisa's ad before it got too painful. And then with the last, thankfully I had time off before the labour kicked in. We are, we are crazy, aren't we, all of us? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we were yep. talking about this, weren't we? We were talking about expectations of us and how we've developed what we think we should be doing because of other people's expectations of us. Uh, yeah, but everything's changed. Mm. Yeah, because Stephen suggested the other... This is how the conversation came. Stephen suggested the other day that I pay someone to do my washing and the look of horror on my face. And he's like, but you've got better things to be doing. I'm like, oh, someone else do my... Is that a thing? <laughs> Could other people do my washing? Could they actually do that? Yeah. You send it to the laundrette and they do it and it comes back all done and it's really nice. And but I was it's saying because, to yeah. this, I had the same thing with I take my ironing to somebody else for somebody else to do. Because I hate ironing clothes. I love pressing fabric. Yeah. But I hate ironing clothes. And but this was a revelation to me. I was like, what? Somebody else could do all this. And, and I, he's I like, said, yeah, to your time is better spent talk. elsewhere. Yeah. Natasha and I were saying we are so conditioned to think that it's our job to do the laundry mm. because we're women. Yeah, and, and this also is where we my get mom, on our soapbox about things. But my mum was um, was a fabulous stay-at-home mum, so she did was mine. Yeah. all of that. Yeah. And I think I just thought, well, therefore I should. But she didn't run a business as well. No, and this is it. We have to remember that our time is limited. There are only so many hours in the day. So I'm placing now, I'm placing again, I'm making sure the large triangle is against the small triangle. Oh, yeah, we should probably look at that, shouldn't we? Um, placing them together, putting them right sides together, and I'm going to flip that over so I can see where the larger triangle is, and I've got that seam allowance. Um, Chris used to say to me when we were sewing, always sew on the side with the most information, and it does make sense. You've got, you know, you can see, you've got a visual aid there to help you... Yeah. Make sure that you're within your seam allowance and that, that you don't lose sense. the point of your triangle. Gosh, Val says I'm from a family of 13. I stopped at two, one of each. 13. Yeah. Um, I, we're lucky enough to live in the house that Glenn was born in, so he knows everybody that lives down his street. And the lady at the end of the road, she had 13 children. Wow. She's still, she's still there, and it's just like... You can't imagine. Can you imagine 13 children? I mean, I know in these sort of Victorian times, they had lots of children because the mortality rate wasn't very high. But even so, you just can't imagine. No, but I guess it gets to that stage where actually the oldest ones can help you with the youngest yes, ones. Yes, this is it, yeah. But you see, I wonder if that's why. God, we, normally we're talking about cakes or something. We've gone a bit off topic today. Yeah. Um, I do wonder why if that's why so many people are scared of, of birth these days. Because you only ever see it in movies. Yes. Where it's all shout, shout, panic, panic. Um, and also, we don't, we don't necessarily, because we're not having big families, we don't see it. No. It's not actually a normal part of everyday life And because life we anymore. go into hospital now, whereas... It's hospitalised, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it used to be. I mean, I know home births are becoming more popular now um, a days, but we went through a phase, didn't we, where like you couldn't have children at home. It was, you know, impossible to get a midwife to do a home birth with you. You were, it was a hospital or nothing. And um, actually, when I went into labour with Josh, and the midwife came round and I rang my mum because she was on standby to come and sit with Isaac when the, the midwife said how far along I was, because my mum's had two home births, mm. she said, oh, stay at home and have it. And I was like, no, because I have all the bedding. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's what Stephen was afraid of, that he might have to clean up. And actually, I was really, because I don't know about anybody else's hospital experience, but when I had Isaac, they ran me a really deep, hot bath afterwards. Did they? And I was really looking forward to having that lovely, deep, hot bath after having <laughs> Josh. <laughs> So you've got your four units, that the four lots of flying geese units in rows. So that it grades out in from the, the contrast colour that picks up the lovely pink in your, in your flower going outwards. Now, 
I'm going to, this is how the ripple quilt is. Oh, it's beautiful, look at that. But what I was thinking when I was making the other ones, mm. if you turn your flying geese around. Turn your flying geese upside down, send them in the other direction. Send them the other way. Now you'd have to think about your colour placement here. Mm. I mean, you could just do it like that and you'd have a star, but then you'd have the pink on the outside, which necessarily isn't a bad thing. But remember what I said about your large triangle is the large square. Yeah. You could do it this way round. Hang on. Can you stitch you which one have you done? <gasps> Ooh, look at that. And that will make a star. Now, when you have the ripple quilt with these going this way, this is what we were doing in the workshop with Chris and Barbara, of course. It was like, look at it and now turn it around. I have got the four patch units with that facing outwards. Nice. And I've got the pattern in there. There's nothing to stop you turning it round so that the dark goes into the middle, Ooh. which gives you a different effect again, because that gives you another pattern. Your oh, eyes like focuses in too. the middle. Yeah. What if you then just went like that with them? Hang on. Now what are you doing? Oh, so you get them, like Irish So it strains. goes like that. So when you put the four together, you're going to have something different. Uh, going on here. Oh, well, that's quite fun too. Yeah. So, and you would have a, a blank space in the middle there, which if you were like, to, if you were more experienced with your quilting, you could make a real feature of that blank space with your quilting pattern. That would be in the middle there. That would be this. That's that sort of, I'll move that all up. That's that shape oh, wow. going Wow, that's a bit special too, isn't it? And if you wanted to, you could turn them so that they went like that. So you've got a different pattern here going on. You could think about that. You could have it alternating like that. Isn't that beautiful? So that would be the centre of your quilt there, which on mine, if I can show Natasha on the, the big picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah where I've got a sort of four um, stretch nine patch effect going on here, yeah, you would have that blank in the middle there with your nine patch, if you like, for want of a better word, going around it. So it would, this would be the middle part of the quilt, if you were to do that. Which actually gives you a quilting opportunity, or if you want to personalise it with some, um, if you're making it for a little one or something yeah. or a wedding or something then you could put you could do alternates couldn't you so if oh. you put the star in if you do your flying geese around the other way and i'm saying this with sort of confident you've got enough fabric to do it with the stars so you would do that is the the layout but with the flying geese going the opposite way i heart that very very much again you could turn it around so the oh, dark goes okay. in the middle which gives you a which really makes the star pop oh that's gorgeous too and again you can do alternates Jane, what are you doing to us so i'm going to need a kit of each basically and try one of each yeah yeah i mean there's nothing to stop you making one of each combination and putting it together in the quilt to see what you know this is where i love patchwork is that you can play with it turn it around move it try other things How and this is what chris and barbara were basically telling us in this workshop yeah. that we did yeah, which yeah. led me to this inspiration but you see your brain thinks that way mine yes. doesn't i'm and always it's seeing just... the next the next step on anyway we'll go back to the, the original plan I just wanted to, sh to show you that you don't always have to do it the way the pattern is. You and know, and once how you've glorious your, that looks, yeah. Made your basic units. And this is what would happen if we just simply turned the unit around. So you've got your pink on the outside. Again, it just gives you another effect. 
and what would happen when you joined the blocks together if you've got that pink on the outside. If we can go on an overhead. Uh, yeah, we can. It's just reloading itself. Oh, right. <laughs> it just decided to, you know. Oh, look let's at this. Update. So if you put the pink on the outside when you joined the blocks together, you'd have a little pink square. Oh, that's quite fun. In there. Oh, gosh, it all... Whoops, that's not that way. That's that... Oh, I can't even see it, can I? There we go. That's what would happen if you did it in the layout we've just, I've just said. That would what would happen next with the blocks next to each other. Amazing. So, you know, again, just play with it is what I'm saying. I'm, I love when people look at a pattern and they can see something else and I'm all for, yeah, try it and see what happens. It's all about playing with it and seeing it. So we'll join these together now. So we join them together in those two blocks against the flying geese unit, the flying geese unit against the flower, and then those two. So that row and that row are the same really, it's just that it's turned upside down. Um, it's just a point to remember that the pink always goes against the yeah. square if, yeah, yeah. if you're doing this, this method. I, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Kerry said, I had COVID when I was 30 weeks pregnant. Don't know what was worse, that or labour. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, I think you're Wonder Woman. Because, you know, you just, you want to have a little relax, don't you, before? Yeah. And struggling yeah. to breathe. It's hard enough to breathe when there's a baby pushing up against your diaphragm and your lungs anyway. But mm. then having COVID on top of that. And then wearing a mask. Hooray. Yeah. And being worried, I should imagine, on what sort of effect it was going to have on your baby. Well, all of those things. Yeah. Um, so we salute you, Kerry, basically. We salute you. We think you're one of them. Yes, we do. Oh, Sue grounded her husband from working abroad two weeks before the due date. His boss asked him if he could fly to San Diego the afternoon she was born. Funnily enough, he had to say no. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> Funny that. Yeah, Funny that. Not. Yeah, if I want my project. life when I get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see that I have pinned on this one because I wanted to make sure that my seams were lined up. Nice, which they on do. On some of them, they do because there's a little interlocking bit that goes on and some of them they don't so I just pin along the seam line just to make sure that the two seams are lined up just so that they they marry up nicely very nice very nice indeed yeah, this needs to be a bag or something, doesn't it? We yeah. can't just leave this one kicking about the place. Made into a cushion or something. I can see it quite nicely on that chair. Well, actually. you know, I didn't like pink to say, but yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Has to yeah. be there. You see that one, the, the seam nestles together. I, I, it still baffles me, that part. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And if you really stopped and thought about it, I'm pretty sure you could press your seams so that they all nestle. I sometimes repress. Yeah, and if I feel like yeah. I need to, I will. And sometimes you can do it manually. Um, I always press to the, to the side of least resistance generally when I've got lots of pieces together. Mm. And so if I wanted the seam on this, it would have had to go that way, which is against those seams there. But on this one, it would have had to go against the point which is even more fabric for it to go against. So. You know, you can think about that if you wanted to make sure. But I think pinning it sort of helps. Does the job, does Does that job quite nicely. And they're not, I mean, there's not too much seam bulk in there. That's not, it's not really going to affect anything too much. Oh, this is all very beautiful. It is. It's a, I just, the fabrics are lovely. It's Macawa fabric, which is lovely fabric to work with anyway. Yeah, because she was with Moda, wasn't she, Adita? Yes. And now she's come back across to... Um, um, laundry basket quilts, as Adita Siddhar. 
and so quite often she'll have patterns that she's designed as well for her fabrics. Oh, nice. Which is what they do with Mo when they're with Moda as well. So quite often you'll find a range of fabrics and then you'll find that there's a nice pattern that goes with it as well. And here's another nice pattern that goes with it. Yes. She should have asked you, Jane. You could have helped. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, it amazes me because you watch, I've, I follow a few of the designers on Instagram and you'll see this um, fabric collection and this quilt and they're like, yeah, and I've, I've designed this and I'm just going to get it patent tested and everything else. And, I, and it's like years before it actually comes out. <laughs> yeah, we're all champing at the bit. I, I then see it with the supplier and I'm like, but I've seen that fabric. Yeah, but no, it's just it's just, just the it. designer talking about the collection that she's come up with. But they're always working so far ahead, aren't they? They are, yeah, yeah, you know, good 12 to 18 months in some cases. It's like the Christmas fabrics that come out. They'll come out, you know, any time now, really, June, July time. But the supplier will come to you in November, December with next year's. Yeah. And they're actually working on not next year's but the, the year years after like 2023's yeah. christmas range now it's nuts isn't it it's, it's absolutely crazy. nuts when you when you think of all the everything that has to happen in the industry it reminds me of that scene in um the devil wears prada where she said you know you might call it whatever color it is but actually that color and she goes into all the all the detail of how the color of that jumper yes came about came about and you just you just don't we don't think about it. No. We don't think about it. And, and it's like anything, isn't it? Quite often we don't think about all the work that goes into the fact that we can just flick a light and the, or flick the switch on the machine and it comes on. Absolutely. All the work that goes into making that happen. It just does. So again, pressing seams. I've pressed them out oh, oh, towards oh. the, um, I keep calling it the four patch unit. It's the easiest thing we to call it. We know what you mean. Um, out towards there and then in towards the middle one and those ones are out so that when I put the rows together I've got that again I've got that seam locking going on and it, you may want to just pin it again along the seams here so that everything lines up just to hold it in place because when the seams don't lock they can move against each other and that's sometimes when you get your seams not lining up as you'd wish them to. Do you know what a half meter of calico would do that bag wouldn't it? Yeah. And you'd have the most stunning front. You'd have a beautiful bag. And then you could just simple make it into tote. like a little yep. book bag or a tote bag or whatever you wanted. It'd be yeah. super, super simple. Or, you know, make it the back of a cushion. You know, a piece of half metre of calico would do you a nice envelope back of a cushion as well. Yes, it would. Oh, Kate, if you're still in from the sunshine, thank you so much for... Um, oh, Kate, very, very kindly finished off one of my cushions. Yeah. It was in a pile of things I really need to get around to doing. I'd done all the front and just hadn't got time to actually finish off the back of it. So thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. It's on my sofa looking amazing. Show stuff gets done, but actual home stuff. No, it doesn't, does it? And sometimes, you know, you, you've, you've got so much to get ready for the next show that you don't quite get time to finish off what you were in the process of making. that I again it's flamingos it, might have to go in my bathroom chain I'm just yes. <laughs> oh, they look lovely with that tealy they color, look they? amazing up there I think my kids are having beans for tea <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, kids, you need the eat tea. up, eat up. Eat what do you mean you don't want the three tins of beans for your dinner? What's You'll have to get you? Stephen to start saving his catering tins as well because oh, they're yeah. big, aren't they? Mm. I remember my mum doing a craft stall and um, she got a friend who was a car sprayer mm. and she got him to spray up a load of tins for her and then she painted things like odds and ends and bits and bobs on them. Oh, nice. And um, sold them for, you know, ridiculously cheap prices at a craft fair. But they were really, ex they were really clever. And it was because she was able to get them spray painted. Yeah, that's a clever thing, isn't it? 
So she was doing this upcycling like before anybody even knew the word upcycle. <laughs> Needs to be done. Needs to be done. She's made carrier bags out of neck curtains and all sorts of things to raise money for charity. You know, reusable Good girl. bags. I salute her. There are a lot of amazing women today that I'm, we're saluting yeah. all over the place. Elizabeth says, you're so clever, Jane. I'd still be on the first block. No, you wouldn't, Elizabeth. You wouldn't. Myra says, how would they know the trend of fashion so far ahead? Because they're the ones making the they trend. They make it. They they're, make the trends, you Yeah, see. they are the trend. We just, we we just, just follow. follow like little, little fashion lemmings. Or not if you're me, I don't really understand fashion. I just know what I like. Well, I think you get to an age, don't you, where you're just like, well, no, actually, I like that. <laughs> yes, it is comfortable. I don't care what you're telling me I should wear. I'm not wearing it. I like this. <laughs> quite, quite. You know, you find, though, sometimes you'll go into a shop and you'll look at the stuff and you're like, I don't like anything in here. And then the next time you'll go in and you'll see about everything. 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 It's usually yep. when you've got no money that you want everything. Oh, no, no, <laughs> of course. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Oh, hang on. You can cover the tins, Susie. What are you doing? You can cover the tins in the different coloured ribbons and use... Um, Oh, and used to coordinate your scrap fabric pieces. Yes, all yes, of that. all of that. All of that is going to have to happen. Look at this. Yeah. So when you've got your four blocks together, mm. you then put a little strip of nice your accent colour there. That's one and a half. And then you'll put your board around. Top and bottom, side and side is the way I always go. And then your border. And then it's just bound in the in the, the darker colour, I think. Beautiful. And that's the amount I've given you. If you wanted to bind it in a different colour, you'd have to email SJ and ask her for more quantity of whatever one you decided you wanted to bind it in. But I've gone, on my kits, I've gone with the darker. Just the darker it colour, because it frames it, it and it brings the, brings the colours back in, I think. So there you go. Well, I think that is really rather lovely. Thank you, my little stitchy witch. You're welcome. And um, as I say, you know, play with it. Have a, make the units and then look at it and see what you'd like, how you'd like it to be. See what you fancy. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, thank you ever, 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 very much. Uh, next week, next week, we're going to play with those ribbons. So, you know, buy ahead because they're a bit gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and I will make sure that we do things that use up a metre. And I think that's fair enough. Yeah. And also, we will start looking at the Oriental Baltimore, which is our applique block of the month. Ooh, exciting. I'm very excited for that's this. That's going to be lovely. Very excited for this. Oh, thank you, Kerry. Um, Lisa says, wow. Um, I don't think she's wowing. Uh, anything I've done, I think that's all your work. <laughs> Bless, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. Um, and I'm going to go and stitch on my uh, my poppers for my bags. Lovely. I did flounce around most of yesterday with one of the satchel bags, didn't I? It did look gorgeous on you. Yeah, and then, thank you, and then um, I lost my phone and someone dared to suggest that I might have actually put, put it, it in, in the bag. bag. I'm like, like what? what in the bag? No! What? Are you kidding me? No way. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, my goodness. Um, Laurie says, thank you, Jane, for another beautiful pattern. Oh, great pattern. I'm adding in beautiful. Uh, Myra says, thank you. Very enjoyable morning. My mum made all the clothes to my design. Hate everyone wearing the same thing. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. We're all individual. Absolutely. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We will be back on Monday. Keep uh, Obviously, the Half Meter Heavens go live at midnight tonight, all at www.natashamakes.com. And then keep, keep an eye out for your not, emails. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the website, then you are missing out on, on goodies. We've got yeah. some cracking ones. Nice Friday gifts. Mm -hmm. well, not gifts. I shouldn't say the gifts. They're not. But, you know, deals. <laughs> Absolutely. All of the above. All of the above. Um, thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Stay sane. All of that. Um, Enjoy the wave, sunshine. Jane. Bye.